Hi everybody, trust you're well. Another uh, quick video today. Um, I've done something today that I'm not particularly proud of um, and I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of flack for it but I thought I would share this with you anyway. In the amateur radio circles there's a lot of discussion about power line uh, transmissions. Um, the little devices which you can plug into your wall socket and create a wired network connection around your house using the mains um, wiring in your house to, to create a wired connection. Perfectly designed for people who have got a big house um, with a Wi-Fi signal at one end and it doesn't really extend to the other part of the house or people who've got um, a building which doesn't really allow you to extend a Wi-Fi connection uh, you know, to, to different parts of the property. My house is exactly that. It's not a huge house, but um, where my broadband router is, it's right at the beginning of the house, right at the front of the house, I should say. And where I need my Wi-Fi signal is at the furthest most point away from the router. Now I've persisted and made do without having the PLT adapters because in amateur radio circles, they're frowned upon. They create a lot of noise, a lot of RF uh, interference, and uh, they black out and block out um, the amateur radio frequencies. I've only heard of rumours of this. I've heard of people showing me um, audio files and um, cases and stories of people who've had their entire frequencies wiped out. And I've never actually experienced it myself. So this morning I went out and I purchased some PLT adapters. So this is what I've purchased. I've purchased a Netgear XAB, XAVB5421 Powerline 500. It allows me to plug in uh, to the wall and connect my router. So the idea is this, that plugs into the wall down there, which in turn connects to my router, which is down here. And as you can see, it's right next to the window and this is down my downstairs at the front of the house. And where I need it is up here to plug into my Mac, which is buried under an iPad and a power supply, uh, to run off this computer here. And as you can see, my radio is right next to it. So I'm proposing plugging it in right here. Like so. So here's the problem. My radio is here. The power line adapter is going to be there. The coax for my antenna goes down the floor, behind my desk, out of the wall, along the mast, and up to the antenna. Now my antenna covers from 20 metres up to 6 metres, so I'm not going to be able to go any lower down than that, so I'm certainly not going to be able to test 40 metres, but here's the thing I want to do. I'm going to fire up my radio on 20 metres, with the PLT devices switched off, and I'm just going to listen to the noise level, and record at regular intervals what the noise floor actually is. Okay, so both devices are off, unplugged, and uh, not in the circuit. So let's go and find some interference. There we go. About 2.11 and it's about S7 on my meter. Let's switch them on and see if that makes any difference. Okay, they're both switched on now and I don't think, I'll find out when I review it, but I don't think that's made much difference at all. And if I go down the band, I certainly don't hear any big blocks of interference. And if I go up the band, I certainly see no spikes of 20 over, which have been reported. And just remember the close proximity I've got of the PLT and my coax. They are literally within one and a half feet of each other. Let's disable them again. 
No. That's made no difference at all. So, there we go. That's my test so far. Now, obviously, this is a very quick and a very random test that I've performed today. And I'm going to run around the house and uh, try a few more things out. And also go through a few more frequencies. And I'm going to provide a full write-up on my blog, I think, about uh, how I have found uh, the PLT devices that I've bought. I just want to add, this isn't an endorsement. This isn't a paid um, publication. I haven't been provided any of these things from uh, Netgear. Uh, I haven't been asked to do a review of them. I went out and I purchased the uh, the, the Powerline 500 this morning from uh, PC World, just up the road from me, where I live. And uh, I paid $39.99 for those two devices. There are cheaper ones. There are darn sight more expensive ones as well. So I thought, like a normal panther, I'll just go in the middle of the road. And uh, so far, I haven't experienced the massive, massive RF blockout, which are claimed to be happening. So watch this space, keep it in mind, and uh, I will carry on and do a few more tests. But early indications uh, seem to be okay. And at the end of the day, radio at home is a compromise anyway. I'm in a housing estate here. Um, I have other people that provide a lot of QRM. Um, I have a lot of things here which provide QRM. I can't do anything about those. Um, I can only do the best I can without adding to it myself. And this is the reason why I've stayed away from uh, the PLT devices for so long, because I didn't want to uh, add to it. Um, but early indications are I have no idea why I had anything to worry about. So there we go. That's my test so far. I hope this has been of interest to you. Please comment. Please let me know your thoughts. Um, I have a suspicion this might be a bit of a hot potato topic. Um, and uh, yeah, let's get the dis this discussion going. So uh, thanks for watching. Speak to you soon. Bye bye.